previous 14. How do you set yourself apart again in this fourth? Well, I, we had a little bit of a tough start to the third, so like you said, we got to be ready to go to the fourth and come out and play. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Alex. Brent Schneider in his fifth season as head coach of the Flies. Sees his second year among Donovan Mitchell knocked down a three. He now has 15 points. To Quinn Schneider, it's his third trip to the playoffs. He's led the Jazz to two straight Western Conference semifinals. Paul comes up short. The rebound by Capella. Out to Rivers. Nice kick back to Green. Gerald Green cannot hit. Minute got by in the fourth quarter. Tied at 79. Rubio makes it home. The high kick and roll for Rubio, Gobert, or Rubio and Favors has been so great tonight for this Utah team, getting them the shots they want in the areas they want to take them. Show the numbers on Rubio, 18.7 assists. Green is off. The crowd is up here in Salt Lake City. With their team moving in front by two, Rubio off the head fake. House able to stay with him. Mitchell goes at Rivers on a spin and score. Timeout, Rockets. About that action, about that action. Let's get active. Let's get and obviously, the NBA game has gone through dramatic changes. You see, back in 79-80, in terms of Houston's percentage of field goal attempts taking from three-point line, 0.5 percent. And in the 80s and 90s, Chris, more of a, as you know, more of a, a post-geared league. And then they went smaller and smaller. And now it's a three-point shooting league. In fact, the Rockets coming into tonight, just firing away during the regular season. 3,731 threes, 52 percent of their field goal attempts, and they've continued here tonight. Foul is called on Utah. Utah with a 7-0-1 to open up this fourth quarter. Rubio called for his third. Yeah, and, and I feel for Rubio on here. Such a smart play by Chris Paul. And, and you don't know if that contact happened, but if it did, Chris Paul initiated by stopping, backing up, and that's just a smart veteran player sneaking one over on the ref. Paul had hit his previous four at the line. He's an excellent free throw shooter, 86% in the regular season. Last year, 92%, which was second in the NBA behind Steph Curry. Utah by three. Two minutes in, fourth quarter. Mitchell with the feint on house and a foul on house. It's been about the penetration of Utah. And the catalyst has been Ricky Rubio. Ricky Rubio started off getting to the hole, and Mitchell says, wait, if you get to the hole, buddy, no disrespect, but I know I can get there anytime I want. He's taking a page out of his backcourt partner's Book getting to the hole himself. Great job. Donovan Mitchell, 81% at the line. Now three for three. The NBA playoffs on TNT are being brought to you by Tiso, the official timekeeper of the NBA. And by Auto Trader, by Faster. Donovan Mitchell coming on in the second half, got off to a slow start. They're going to bounce back with what has taken place throughout the series. Yeah, and it would be easy for him to disappear and just pass it and go away. No, he's initiating the offense. Oh, the lob. Capella try to backhand it. Rubio dribbling in traffic gets to Mitchell for three. Yes, he got the roll. A 12 to 1 run. Mitchell with 10 of those 12 points. Capella is stopped by Favors and a foul. A foul on Houston. 
Ricky Rubio gets the steal on the other end, penetrates, get one for his boy. Donovan Mitchell at the top, and he's just going to watch it like, come on, you know I can shoot. You got to show me some good fortune to the basketball guys. Foul on Capella, his second. As Mitchell, he feels it. One hundred percent beef, Jack Link's jerky. Welcome back to Utah, where Utah is showing their heart, and none other than Donovan Mitchell. I saw his father before the game, and I said, "I know you're proud of him being resilient and fighting through the adversity." Because it's fun for us watching this young man grow up right before our eyes. That last shot by Mitchell, just a heat check, knocking down his last three buckets easily. Utah. Scoring Houston 15 1 in this quarter, 13 points, 13 of the 15 for Mitchell. Harder, hard off the drive with a strong move. Let's go to Adam. C Webb and Marv, I talked to Donovan Mitchell, and he told me that it took him all five games in the postseason last year to figure out how to beat this Houston team. All five. He felt like when he finally figured it out, he got hurt in that game five and wasn't able to play again. So when he found out he was matched up against them this year, he was ready for the challenge. Arguably, his best opportunity last game to make the three to tie the game. He doesn't knock it down, but he's showing his fight and his resiliency and the reason his teammates have his back and want the ball in his hands. Donovan Mitchell, 9 for 19 from the field. He has 25 points. Pulls it back on Paul. O'Neal, a nice move, and he drew the foul. <laughs> foul committed by Chris Paul. <laughs> Royce O'Neal, during the regular season, played 20 minutes a game, averaged five points, shot 39% from three, and he is an excellent defensive player. Complete coverage of the 2019 NBA playoffs.